After the first session, we found that the hip was uh, what we thought to be the driver and we released the left uh, adductor muscle and that seemed to improve the uh, ability for the hip to correct. However, we felt that there was still some tension in the hip posteriorly, um, namely in coccygeus. To look at the position of the coccyx initially, I'm just going to feel down from the sacrum. And I can feel if I just rest my finger along the coccyx that it's deviated towards me, it's deviated to the, the left side of this patient. And if I then palpate either side into coccygeus, there's a definite difference in tone um, between the two and the patient also will say that it's quite tender in this side compared to the right side. So I would look at releasing this muscle now uh, to see if this uh, coccyx becomes uh, into better alignment and to see then if that changes the task. So to release the left coccygeus muscle I can just do some release with awareness. Okay, so I'm just going to bring your attention to this muscle here and I'll wait for the muscle to let go and there it goes and as I feel it relax I can just take it into a stretch and then I can come back and palpate for the next area of, of tension. So we've released the left coccygeus muscle and this is the resultant squat. So it's much better but it's still not perfect. So we're now going to see if cueing to, to switch off some of our learnt or ingrained patterning makes a difference. We know that there's a connection with the cranium and the coccyx and pelvic floor so we're going to try and see whether cueing into that makes even more of a difference into the task. So try and just think about nice length in the left side of your neck here and really just cue in to relax there and go and back up. Mm. So the homework that I would give this lady to go away and practice is some self coccygeus release to help to maintain the release work that we've done today um, and also a cue into the left base of the occiput and just lengthen an opening in the neck and also to really try to focus on releasing actively the, the pelvic floor um, posteriorly during the squat.